The four strands crown braid paracord bracelet with the ending of the two strand crown diamond knot as you can see here. In the next few minutes I'm gonna show you how to make this particular bracelet. As you can see bracelet is very firm, very thick and it's very robust. So stay tuned because tutorial is right around the corner. Hello everyone, welcome to the Alpha 1982 YouTube family. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this paracord bracelet called four strand crown braid paracord bracelet. For this particular bracelet we're gonna need total length of six feet or two meters of this blue paracord 550 and also six feet of or two meters of this red paracord 550. I'm gonna uh, skip a bit further so I wanna lose your time I'm gonna post into the description of this link my videos with a four strand crown braid and I'm gonna put it also in the annotations so you can check it out and we're gonna start this bracelet after uh, two or three basic Wheels. So enjoy. I skip a bit forward so you'll see how the round braids turning. The most important thing is that you remember that always the left strand and the right strand will make the loops like this and will go on top of the same color base so the blue will go on blue like this and we're gonna insert the red cord into the loop on the right side we're gonna insert uh, this red cord but it's important that you take to insert the cord in the loop uh, so it will pass as you can see here this strand here and it will go on top of this strand and through the loop and from this side also the red will come on top of the left blue cord or strand and through this left blue loop so pull it up to make it tight and Here we are, after we tightened it well, we'll have the one more weave done. Basically the whole principle behind this round braid is that you take the pattern and follow it until the end. I intentionally made the mistake uh, in this Free, uh, first three weaves. I started round braid to the right side as you see here it started to go around on the right and then I stop here and actually reverse it into the left as you can see right now. So pay attention and look for the weaving pattern. So you see here the first weave is the one which will be heading on the right side and then I'll make that coming back so don't make this mistake I made this, uh, this mistake for, on purpose so I will uh, show you and you can see how it can be easily made this mistake and ruined the whole uh, round four strand crown braid after that said I'm gonna show you one more time and then I'm gonna skip forward a bit not to lose any more of your time so as we go take the right sorry the red cord make it on top of the red 
and this here side too and then this on top of this trend and through this loop here like this and from this side also actually this is very simple to make but you need to follow the pattern and it will be no mistake Now we are almost at the very end of this bracelet, as you can see it's a nice looking bracelet and I hope that you enjoyed making this bracelet and you enjoy your time on this channel. If you do please subscribe, give a thumb up, leave a comment and share this video with your friends and the family. As I said, we are almost finished and now I'm gonna show you how to make the final weave for the bracelet and join the two ends in a Mad Max style just to make a few, few more weaves and as you can see I have the more blue cord than the red one that's because I will do the connecting two ends of the bracelet with this blue and making the final Mad Max style endings of this ending of this bracelet sorry So as you can see, it's a very 
neat looking bracelet very well designed nice colors and it's very robust as you can see okay now let's finish it with the Mad Max style and after we finish our crown diamond knot we're gonna take and here we are the bracelet is finished we are done with today's bracelet the four strand round braid with the finishing of the two strand crown diamond knot in the Mad Max style I hope that you like this bracelet and that you enjoyed please subscribe give a thumb up and share with your friends and the family so I can make more uh, stuff like this until the next time stay safe be well wishing you just best Dale signing out bye